This is Dennis Kasumba, the viral sensation who took the internet by storm. If you are unfamiliar, video surfaced of the then reported 18 year old engaging in unique workout videos using whatever items he could find in his home of Uganda. Kasumba had a clear and determined dream, make it to the USA and pursue a career in baseball. Kasumba's story is truly remarkable. Orphaned at a young age, his father went off to the Ugandan Civil War and never returned, while his mother left Kasumba and his two siblings on his grandmother's doorstep when he was just two months old. Kasumba was raised by his grandmother and says his commitment to baseball is driven by his desire to improve both his and her life. Before Kasumba's intense workout videos gained worldwide attention on the internet, he was discovered at the young age of 13 by Paul Wafula, a former coach and member of the Ugandan national baseball team. At the time, Kasumba never played baseball and was working at a slaughterhouse for less than a dollar a day to provide for his family. Paul Wafula presented Kasumba with an offer he couldn't refuse. He told Kasumba that if he left the slaughterhouse to practice baseball, he would receive not only meals and an education, but also be paid. Kasumba accepted and his journey continued as he joined the local baseball team, where Wafula patiently taught him the fundamentals. It was during this time that Kasumba's passion for baseball began to blossom. At the age of 14, fueled by his newfound enthusiasm, he began researching the sport on the internet and came across two notable players, Salvador Perez and Yadier Molina, who then became the source of his inspiration. After watching videos of both catchers, Catchers Kasumba expressed to his coach, quote unquote, I want to be like him. Wafula acknowledged that the catching position was a challenging one, but Kasumba eagerly accepted the challenge and embarked on his journey towards becoming a backstop. This is where Kasumba began sharing all of his workout videos on Twitter using improvised items he found around his village. These workouts were intense and frequently involved using tires and hitting tees made from empty bottles. Or as you can see here, a bucket filled with dirt and some sort of stick attached where he took swings. Or what about this? Two branches held up by bricks with a water bottle base to act as hitters in the batter's box. The videos made it clear that Kasumba never allowed his circumstances to hinder the pursuit of his goal. In numerous videos, you see Kasumba working out in the pouring rain in muddy conditions wearing full catcher's gear with his improvised workout items. Kasumba had basically made a gym at his home with all the improvised items. He bench pressed by using two cans which seemed to be paint cans filled with concrete attached to a stick. Kasumba's creativity in his training regimen was astounding. He used tires attached to a rope on his back as a form of a weight while climbing stairs, performed push-ups with tires on his back, practiced blocking balls in the dirt with a hefty log attached to his back, and even had someone throw tires directly to his chest to simulate the experience of sliding into home plate. If Kasumba didn't have a glove, well no problem. He was often shown with what appears to be a glove made with a piece of cardboard in which he did framing drills and practiced blocking balls. He even had taped water bottles attached to his wrist as weights when emulating throwing down to second base. Base. Kasumba often threw bricks and had others help him with drills as his determination and resourcefulness were truly remarkable. If a particular item was unavailable, he found a way to make do with whatever he had in hand, as evidenced by his attempt to craft a bat out of a piece of tree trunk, leaving no room for excuses. As his videos gained traction on the internet, Kasumba started to garner a significant following with people from all over the world, particularly in the United States. It was during this time that an attorney based in Atlanta named Joshua Williams first came across Kasumba. Williams reached out and their conversation evolved as Kasumba shared his dreams to becoming a professional baseball player. This revelation prompted Williams and others who have heard of Kasumba's inspiring story aimed towards raising funds to help pursue his dream of playing baseball in the United States. During this period, over $6,000 was successfully raised and even provided Kasumba with new catcher's gear. However, despite these efforts, his visa application was denied three times because Kasumba couldn't prove he had any close family members to return home to after his stay in the U.S. Nevertheless, Kasumba's story continued to gain momentum and after a viral tweet from former MLB player Kyle Farnsworth and a feature in the Los Angeles Times, Sean Campbell, the executive director of the MLB Draft League, took notice. For those who may be curious, the MLB Draft League began in 2021 and consists of six teams. The league is divided into two halves, the first half consisting of 30 games and featuring amateur and draft eligible players aiming to enhance their draft stock. The second half takes place after the draft and spans 50 games involving players who have exhausted their amateur eligibility. For Kasumba, the first half of the season provided an ideal opportunity. Sean Campbell, the head of the MLB Draft League, established contact with the Uganda Baseball Association and was subsequently connected with Coach Wafala. Coach Wafala then extended the opportunity to Kasumba. Campbell invited Kasumba to join the Frederick Keys of the MLB Draft League. The only issue was Kasumba already faced three failed attempts and the next available interview to seek approval was in May. However, on May 18th, the 
long-awaited moment arrived and Kasumba's visa was finally approved. This marked a significant milestone in his journey, bringing him one step closer to realizing his dream, a dream that no Ugandan had ever achieved before. In fact, no player from Uganda had ever played minor league baseball, let alone reach the majors. However, this changed when the Dodgers signed 21-year-old pitcher Ben Sirakuma and 21-year-old outfielder Umar Male, and the Pirates signed 17-year-old right-handed pitcher David Matoma, marking a significant breakthrough for Ugandan baseball talent. The Frederick Keys manager Rene Rivera brought a wealth of experience as a 13-year major league catching veteran and was enthusiastic about the opportunity to mentor the young and promising Dennis Kasumba. They had been in contact via Instagram for several months leading up to Kasumba's debut in America. Upon his arrival, there were a few surprises regarding Kasumba's age and height. Initially, it was reported that Kasumba was 18 years old, but various articles have mentioned he might be 19 and his baseball reference page indicates that he recently turned 20. Also, there was a discrepancy in his height as the initial belief was that he was 5'11", but it was later revealed he stands at 5'6". One of the biggest questions surrounding Kasumba was his ability to hit, which became a prominent topic of discussion in the comments under his videos. This curiosity stemmed from the fact that most of his videos showcased defensive skills, leaving many to wonder about his bat. Well, the short answer is no, as of right now, Kasumba was overmatched once he landed on US soil. But it made sense because the highest velocity he'd ever seen back home was 78 miles an hour. Out of the gate, he was challenged and saw 90 and actually made contact following it off. As for his performance, well, he played in 10 games and went 0 for 19 with 15 strikeouts. Behind the plate, he struggled as well as he had to adjust to catching pitchers throwing in the upper to mid 90s. During a game behind the plate, pitchers were charged with eight wild pitches in just three innings after Kasumba struggled, especially with blocking. When manager Rene Rivera was asked about Kasumba's challenges, he said he understands because the pitching in the United States is notably different from what Kasumba was accustomed to seeing in Uganda. Rivera also noted that Kasumba has made significant progress in his defensive skills behind the plate, including improvements in his setup, receiving, and even handling pitches as fast as 98 miles an hour. Kasumba has since returned back home and continues to display his intense workouts in pursuit of his dream. The MLB Draft League has invited Kasumba back for next year, and his manager Rene Rivera said once Kasumba finishes high school back home, he and the president of the league will be in search of a junior college where Kasumba can play baseball. Kasumba's journey is truly remarkable, and it holds the potential to inspire and change the outlook on baseball, not just for himself, but for an entire country. His determination, resilience, and passion for the sport have already made a significant impact as his story continues to be an inspiration for many aspiring athletes. Kasumba's dedication to his dream serves as a testament to what can be achieved with hard work, perseverance, and a deep love for the game. His story is one of hope and possibility, and it's exciting to see where it will land him in the future.